At 618, we're going to shift gears and get over to meteorologist Sam Schreier now to get us ready to get out the door, Sam. Well, I wanted to kind of compare, like, it's chilly in southern Colorado today, but check out the upper Midwest. You've got temperatures in the deep negatives in northern Minnesota, northern Wisconsin, northeast um, North Dakota. Fargo's at 27 below. Duluth is almost 40 below. International Falls up on the border is 41 below. And then you got Green Bay at 24 below. This is wind chill effects. And then again, even colder up towards some of the lake area in northern Wisconsin. So real, real cold into upper Midwest. We compare that here. We don't really have a wind chill because it's just too light. I mean, we're still cold out there. We're 21 in the springs, 12 in Pueblo, but again, that's still not the deep negative chills that they're feeling in the upper Midwest through Canada. Now let's talk about how the forecast evolves. We're above warm or above normal today for our warmth. We actually carry that through the rest of this week. Cooler weather is back Friday through Sunday, and we've got nothing but, you know, just kind of a few flurries expected going into the weekend. So let's talk about the hour by hour forecast. Your temperatures are going to get up near 50 in Colorado Springs, and then pretty close to the 50 degree mark in Pueblo. It just takes Pueblo a little longer to get there because we're starting so much colder. If you need to get some errands done today, I know grocery shopping, for me, it was a bit of a challenge this weekend. Maybe for some of you could be. And if you need to just get some stuff done, it doesn't matter what it is. We know the temperatures will be fairly nice through the middle of the week. There's just a small dip in those temperatures on Wednesday. But today, not too bad out there. 51 in Colorado Springs. 53 into Pueblo, then 40s west in the mountains and valleys. As we then take a look at the overnight lows, it's chilly once again, but that does bring us right into the extended forecast where we get close to 60 on Tuesday. I think we're going to stay in the 50s and 60s going into the end of the week. And on Friday in our Super 7 day, this is kind of the only breakout day because there's just a small chance of flurries, but that's it. Honestly, I kind of feel like this system is going to evolve through the week to not even having snow in it. It'll just be a little cooler through Saturday. In Pueblo, we are going to be in those 50s and 60s over the next few days. Tuesday and Thursday look fantastic. And then as we get over towards Saturday, we'll just be a little bit cooler out there. Canyon City, we're in the 50s and 60s going into the extended forecast. We're going to see those temperatures get back to the 40s through Saturday. No snow, no rain in that long term. And then Woodland Park. So we're going to leave a flurry chance in for Friday from the evening. But honestly, I think most of the story is just how nice it's going to be, especially like Thursday, high of 55. Let's hit traffic. It is 6.